So we're here with a silicon line here at CS 2019, and who are you? My name is Ian Jackson. I'm uh, director of sales and marketing here in yeah. uh, in Munich, in Germany. And uh, what we're showing here is the world's first uh, HDMI 2.1 active optical cable. So these are. Uh, this is a. It can be very long, and it's using active. Uh, is it to do with a? a how does it work? Yeah, so um, normally uh, HDMI cable is just made with copper, but when uh, the HDMI 2.1 spec is uh, available and coming out, um, the data rate is increased up to 48 gigabits per second. And at that speed, uh, there are lots of losses with uh, copper cables, which means that the cables get uh, much shorter and much thicker. And what that means is uh, when you want a, a nice thin cable and a longer cable, then you have to go to an active optical cable. So it's optical, is like fiber? Yeah, so in, uh, in this cable you see there was uh, four fibers and some copper wires for power and ground and these kind of things. You know? So it has to go in one way like this, source to, dis to display? Yes, so we have a light transmission, so light go only goes in one direction of course. So it's a directional cable. You have to plug one end into your set-top box, one end into your Blu-ray So there's a transmitter and a receiver? Yeah, transmitter and receiver. Yeah. And it works similar to fiber? Uh, well, um, what happens is we have uh, ICs inside the, uh, the housing here, and they take the electrical signals from the HDMI, and they convert them into an optical signal using a laser. Yeah. And then the light from the laser goes through the fibers, to the other end, where we have a photodiode, which converts the light back into an electrical signal. Then we have another IC in here, which then regenerates the HDMI 2.1 electrical signal. Nice. Uh, so, uh, so on, on these right here, you have a little micro USB to add power. That's uh, uh, for now, or what? Yeah. So, uh, in some situations, you might need to use this connector because uh, the active electronics use some power, of course and some HDMI sources don't necessarily provide enough power. So in such a case, if the cable doesn't work, you simply will plug a USB, micro USB into your TV, where it will supply enough power for the cable to work. Because it's of course backwards compatible, it's not only for the HDMI 2.1 future, no. you can plug it on any TV right now, Yes, yes, and yes. then uh, maybe that TV is not providing enough power, so then you can power it like this. Yes, it's okay. Yeah. And uh, right here is 8K, and your cable is making this possible? Yes, that's right. So we have uh, an AK source, which is going through the Invicus uh, HDMI transmitter, I see, through our cable. And here we have a 10 meter cable, yeah. which is actually very thin, very flexible, three millimeters yeah. in diameter. Yeah. And at the other end, we go uh, to this part, where the HDMI electrical signal comes out of our optical cable into the Invicus HDMI receiver, and then into the, the set-top box. Nice. And then the final video goes from the set-top box through this near-invisible cable to the panel. So uh, the, the company is based in Germany? Yes, we're based in Munich, Germany. We're a startup. Startup uh, just for optical HDMI cables? Yeah, we well know. Uh, we uh, our, our goal as a company is to bring active optical cable technology into the consumer market. So we're very active also in uh, DisplayPort, USB 3, virtual reality, MIPI D5, these kind of consumer protocols. But HDMI 2.1 is going to work with passive. But yeah. it's a great opportunity for optical, right? Yes, it is. Because, because all this bandwidth. Because of the high bandwidth, which means the passive copper cable will reduce in length and then increase in diameter. So when you want, let's say, more than two or three meters, you would have to use an optical cable. But you're, not, you're not talking about the IC you're using, right? But um, uh, hopefully it's not too expensive to buy a cable. No, no, no. How much no. is it going to be, maybe? Well, uh, our goal is to get this within, uh, well, let's say very competitive with the equivalent length copper cable. So like a premium cable, uh, good one? Yeah. 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 And then you, you can reach longer. That's one of the main things, right? Uh, one of the main things is you can reach longer. So with optical, you can go uh, one meter, three meters, five meters, 10 meters, 20, 30, 40. And the advantage is that the thickness of the cable always remains the same, no matter what the length is. And no matter the length, is the quality is exactly the same? Quality is exactly the same. Yeah. It's like fiber goes forever, basically. Fiber goes forever without any signal degradation, which is you know not the same with copper. 